Sir, Ravi here, sir. Wanted to discuss something with you. Oh, yes, Ravi. Come, dear. Please come. Please tell how can I help you. Well, sir, wanted to have few tips and master squeeze related guidance from you, sir. Hope you have enough time to spend with me. Oh, Ravi, forget all those formalities. Yes, tell me now. In which thing can I help you to get outstanding performance from you? Oh, thank you, sir. Pleasure to get recognized from you, sir. Well, I wanted to have few tips for midterm exam papers and few on master squeeze to find clear and right way ahead, sir. Yes, why not? If I know something, then I would definitely share it with you. Thank you, sir. First, from midterms exam point of view, I wanted to ask how to approach chemical equilibrium topic related questions. I guess this topic is unique than the other topics of chemistry subject. Sir, you see, the regular pattern of any physics or chemistry topics is to solve theory or some questions, or the mixture of both. But sir, for this topic, I found it little strange for how to get it done. Well, to be precise sir, this topic related question always counts for 12 to 20 marks. But in both ways sir, once they ask to solve the sum, but we need to add theory part also in it. And secondly, when they ask to solve theory on the other occasions. But here too we need to add some part of sums to to elaborate that theory part in good ways, sir. So my query is, in both ways we have to write both theory and sums in this question. So what is the difference of asking theory when we need to add sums also and of asking sums when we need to add theory part also? In both the cases, the answers are same. Theory along with sums or sums along with theory. Then how to go about this topic, sir? In both ways, we have to write the same answer. I mean, I don't have any issue for it. But won't it look strange for the faculty who is checking our paper, sir? Well, Ravi, you are the first one from your batch to ask this query for chemical equilibrium topic. Even some years back, Chris Matthews came to me with same query. That too about the concern of getting that paper to be checked in right ways. Well Ravi, to be precise, your query itself has its solution. Well, as you said, this topic's theory and sums are inseparable and incomplete to justify the required answers. So you have to go to write both the things to get required marks, Ravi. See, the issue is not what to write. The actual issue is the pattern of question. Here you have missed a trick to see something vital thing of it, Ravi. The question pattern. It is an elusive kind of question that can ever come to solve in exams. The answer is same. The combination of theory and sums only. Okay? So the paper setting faculty do see your thinking power behind it and hence they get you elusive kind of questions sometimes. Sometimes they do ask you to explain the theory part precisely. But as you know we need to write everything in it. The other time they would ask you to explain some part precisely. But again you need to write whole thing again. The game over here is the number of marks that are allotted for this question which gives you the right clue dear. It always comes between 12 to 20 marks. So for theory question if you write only theory part then forget getting full marks at it as you haven't explained sums in it and in other way round it is the same for the sums part too. Okay Ravi, it is all about playing with your minds at the time of exams. Paper setting staff is so clever these days 
to test your mind completely ravi so be careful you have to read other questions too with that curiosity ravi question reading is an art if you read it cleverly then only you could be able to solve it perfectly remember this always you can prepare your answers but if you don't know for which question you need to write it then forget all these marks ravi which are allotted for it simple business now take an example of question that you have shared with me chemical equilibrium topic related this question comes for 12 to 20 marks always so so imagine the kind of impact it can produce when you conduct this question in wrong ways straight half marks deduction ravi almost 6 to 10 marks deduction so imagine your final tally of marks ravi simply imagine that is why you need to read your question carefully very very carefully Yes sir truly helpful thing sir yes this query is cleared in big way now sir i want to ask about master squeeze related thing i was of the opinion to have a combined session with all participants to discuss only about the required mindset that you would need to apply at the time of quiz competition well the way i am discussing with all participants this year they all talk about big picture related things but they hardly know about the ground realities of especially the mindset that we need to display over there sir you yourself has seen in the past that even great studious chaps too find it all difficult to get hold of all proceedings and to go ahead further so i guess these are the most important things to get discussed within ourselves sir otherwise doing all extra sessions or something won't do any justice to it sir i afraid many of them get nervous at the start of quiz itself and then with rising trail they always fell back from their starting positions and lose it in the end comprehensively I suppose this is the real game and nature of master squeeze sir but we need to prepare ourselves first to counter these mindsets and then go for extra classes 
of the required preparation sir sorry to tell you about all these in comprehensive way but sir i've shared what i felt last time around at quiz it really takes a big heart to cope up with that kind of immense pressure sir yes ravi you are absolutely right anything more you would like to tell well sir i have few more observations with me sir last year what i have gone through with all this as i said earlier we need to prepare our participants first for the overall situation awareness and to make them gulp all pressures of the surroundings because most of the people i saw simply buckled under that pressure and those who identified it quickly and put up a big heart at right time survived and went ahead many of them made big fortune to make it to the semis and even the finals we were among them sir but sir i must confess here that our hard work and dedication was the one part but mostly we were so lucky or fortunate to reach at that place sir i want these lucky fortunes to be kept away and shall prepare as per merits only for semis or finals if we deserve it what i want we shall streamline all those processes to take that luck part away from it and it shall be achieved purely on our merits sir that is how we could justify it fully otherwise everything would not come as just luck by chance game sir it simply won't justify all of our efforts so this is the big thing we want to achieve secondly sir we need to have perfect sessions for all subjects to crack down all required logics that are needed to crack those questions more than a knowledge we need to have technique to crack that logic under immense pressure and within short period of time for all our people sir and this thing is so vital same as running a fuel for any vehicle as for quiz this method would determine the lengthy journey of our student at it at least we would ensure the place in the semis and then everything would go as per chance of theirs we need this badly sir hmm good observations raviraj very good indeed as far as the first thing you have shared yes i am of the same opinion to prepare and train our people in order to gulp all initial pressures and early nervousness and yes that is very very important as this would reduce the chances of early exits from the competition plus if all goes well then it would boost everyone's confidence to find right boost in the journey that lies ahead yes we definitely need to curb all those negativities and to find early boost to cater all required confidence that we need for our people this i must say we have to consider the second point is what you have said the proper training to unlock all logic terms within time and immense pressure well we all staff members have already thought and planned about it and all the pairs of accs would get all required training which would boost your chances raviraj every professor would train you people on how you need to crack those logics so this part would be covered well yes i do agree for the first part that you have mentioned raviraj that is of course about the pressure management and early situational awareness and i would share this with our management to have a separate sessions over it maybe you people need separate sessions of it for every subject anyways you would have logic based and subject based sessions for all subjects as per our planned program i would have a word with management to add extra sessions just to put your people in right mindset to cope up with all kinds of pressures and initial nervousness yes definitely you need that for sure 
Anything else you want to add, Raviraj? Yes, sir. I guess we as student pairs must have one separate session for ourselves where we could share our last year's experience with all of them to make them ready to face all kind of challenges, sir. I would request even few professors should attend that to guide us over there for any missing point if any. So this would give all of us prompt scenario for all required mindsets that we need to put plus it would also provide a window for the questions raised by everyone. All kinds of stupid questions shall be attended well to clear all kinds of issues that they have. In this way we would clear their basic hurdles of mindsets. And once everyone is clear about the scenario then it would be mighty easy for all of them to fight with all possible nerves. And I am sure sir, our every student is like a gold or a diamond and could absorb all proceedings well to come up and rise on the occasions with all guns blazing. This would give immense boost for their confidence that they know most of the things of master quiz before even entering in that studio to play fierce battle with the champions of all over the country. Yes sir, I find a good vision in it to prepare our students mentally so that they can get over with any kind of hurdle that can come in their way sir. So that is what I wanted to share with you. Yes Raviraj, truly said and well explained son. Yes we need the basic setup to prepare our kids in good ways and that is how we can excel in desired results. There's simply no other thing that can replace this preparation process. And I am mighty pleased that you yourself come to us to share these valuable things of your own. I must thank you for this Raviraj, for all these sacred efforts. And yes, we need enthusiastic students like you who not only think about improvements all time, but can think for others benefits too. And that is the great thing to have. We need people like you, Ravi. That is how we can educate more and more people in exact ways. That is the real purpose of group working. Thank you, sir, for all praises. But I don't do such things for my personal pleasures. In fact, I always think in the way I find all kind of hardships while doing any kind of work. Then it is my duty to tell all those hardships to others in advance so that they can make up their minds and can prepare well for it and this way their life would become less complicated than what I have experienced while doing that work. This way we can ensure only creative sharing do take place and people value each other's opinions and their thought processes. Yes. There are always limitations at individual works as it is almost impossible at times to reach to all available things plus you get exhausted with all your required energy levels. And hence we need creative processes to channel group working in more positive ways sir. Hands in hand would do more wonders than we could ever think. Well. That is the whole idea of doing all these things. I get a lot of satisfaction for doing this for others.